Masking allows you to do things that just aren't possible in real life. Oh, hey, you look great. Oh, hey, thanks. You're not so bad yourself. Yeah, except for... Uh, yeah, and your nose is, is kind of kind of big. Yeah, and your... Hey, 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 now. Man. Just saying. Masking allows you to cut out a portion of a video to reveal what's beneath it. Let's jump into CapCut so you can see what I mean. I'm going to drag this clip of me walking right into frame right here. And I make sure that the video is highlighted. I go up here to Video, Mask, and I can see the different kinds of masks. Now with this horizontal mask, I just click on it and it cuts out a portion of the video. So the bottom's cut out, it's revealing what's underneath it. And to see what I'm talking about, it's not just empty space. I mean, it is empty space, but let me just grab something out of the library so you can see what's underneath there. I'll grab this pink, whatever this is. And now you can see that I'm cut out and whatever's underneath me, I can see. And with this particular horizontal mask, I can spin it around and I can even feather it so it blends with whatever's next to it like that. And if I click on these other masks, you can see there's a circle mask. And that one's particularly important because it's kind of like what you're seeing now with me in the corner of the screen. That's how I'm placed in the corner of the screen using a mask. And when you are in the mask tab, if I click and drag this, I can position it where I want it. I can scale it and size it like this and position it over my face. So it's kind of where I want it to be. And then to move it, you might think, oh, you're facing that way. You should be down here in this bottom left corner. And you drag, it's like, oh, it didn't work. That's because we are moving the mask. To move me, I just click on basic and move the whole thing where I wanted to position it right here in one of the corners. And that's exactly what was done to create this video here. Now let's undo that and just look at these other shapes real quick. Go back on mask. By the way, to get rid of a mask, you just click on none and then you're back to square one. Here's a rectangular mask, same thing, a heart mask and a stars mask. Those aren't super useful, but uh, that helps you understand what a mask is. And you can drag it on here and feather it. If you do it a lot on this star, you can see it's feathering it out there. So those are the basics of using a mask. And in a program like Adobe Premiere, you can actually cut something out. So if we wanted to cut me out walking in Premiere, you could roughly in Premiere, it's not super precision in Premiere, but you'd cut me out and I could walk. In Adobe After Effects, you could with precision cut me out exactly and remove the background instead of just putting a circle around you know most of me like this you could make it look a lot better in something like premiere now here within CapCut, we have the remove background feature which does it for you with auto removal that is a pro feature now and it'll think about it for a second and cut me out without all of the effort when i was in hollywood we had an entire team and they spent a lot of their time masking we have to cut somebody out or something out for the duration but technology has gotten much better it's much faster now but sometimes you still in Adobe After Effects, you'll cut things out with precision. There's other programs that are designed specifically for cutting you out. Now, when you are cutting somebody out in something like After Effects, drawing a line around me and then moving forward a frame and then drawing the other line around me, just uh, adjusting it, that's called rotoscoping. So masking, you know, big lines, squares, rotoscoping, cutting things out with precision, same thing. You're cutting something out, revealing what is beneath it. That is masking. Now, the beautiful thing about understanding masking here in CapCut is that it is virtually the same in any other editing or visual effects program. Once you understand masking, you get it. So if you want to grasp all of the basic principles of editing and learn the program that you might use for the rest of your life, you should check out my course, Edit with Trev and Master CapCut. It will accelerate the learning process, like drastically take a year off your learning curve, and you can learn everything CapCut does and the basic principles of editing and motion graphics in like a couple days. So if you want to check it out, you can click on the link either here or here. I never know which side it's on. That's, I really don't. Or go to mastercapcut.com or click on the link in the description below. I'd love to see you in there. Now let's go ahead and recreate the open that you saw where I was talking to myself. If you want to follow along and recreate that open so you can practice, I've given you the links for free, which you can download using the link in the description below. To recreate something like you saw, you first want to record a script with you talking and then talking back at yourself. Next, you want to practice what you've written down and remember to leave pauses so that you can answer yourself in between. Next, you want to make sure that you are somewhere where the lighting will be consistent. If you're indoors, you can control the lighting. If you're outdoors, you probably don't want to do it at sunrise or sunset because the lighting is changing pretty drastically and you want both sides to match exactly. Otherwise, it'll be obvious that you're not really talking to yourself. 
Next, you want to place your camera on a tripod and hit record and not move it. You're going to record both sides of you talking as many times as you need to to get it right. You're going to mess up. I did. It took me like four and a half minutes to get both sides of that correct. For you, I made it easy. I just took the best take of each one and I gave you that. And I also gave you one where it's totally trimmed so you don't have to adjust it because you're not going to get the timing exactly right. So you got to find out how to adjust it. I'll show you how to do that right now. Take this masking clip here. It's masking that's top trimmed. And here is masking bottom trimmed. So let me put that one on the bottom. And these are just ready to rock. I already did the timing adjustment. So once you throw a mask on here, it's going to be super easy. In fact, let's do that first. This is easy way to get the concept down. With this top clip, I'm just going to click on video mask and guess which one of these masks I will use. I could actually use horizontal or rectangle, but horizontal is going to be easier. I click on that and there's me on one side and Oh, look, if I uh, zoom over here, ding, there's me on the other side. And if I click off of it, I can see that it looks pretty darn good. Now you can see a little bit of variation as I'm walking in. It's not totally perfect. And the way to make that look much better is to just click on the clip so we can see the mask. If you don't see the mask, you need to go click on this thing because you might go, wait, I don't see the mask. You just click on mask over here and then we just drag this feather over like that and it's going to blend it in between. And now we want to make sure that my hand doesn't cross that line because I don't want my hand to feather. Oh yeah. So we're going to move this mask over. How do I move the whole mask over? Because I don't want my finger to feather away. It's going to click and drag it over here where there's nothing in the way. And then I can afford to feather it a little bit more, even a little more like that. And now look at this. You, you really can't tell. It looks really good. If you're playing it, I mean, now we're looking at it so you can kind of see a line just because I was blocking the light slightly differently here. But this looks really good and I could play it, but I'm not going to play it now. So this looks really good. Me talking to myself. Now that's with me doing all the hard work for you. Now, if you want to do it yourself and you want to really understand how to make this work in real life, because these issues are issues you're going to you're going to actually have. We'll take this raw clip of me on the bottom and the raw clip of me on the top. And you will notice that the audio does not line up. So this is me talking in the beginning, I think. Let me just move this out of the way. Okay, okay that's not me talking. Here's me talking. So masking allows you to do things. Okay, so we know that's the beginning. And I'm going to make sure that the track magnet's on just so I can trim this up real quick. This is the track magnet right here. It really only works on this bottom track, so we'll turn it off in a second. But the track magnet allows me to add an edit and have everything slide over on this bottom track to kind of make it easy. So I type the letter. What letter? If you've been following me, you know the letter Q to add an edit to cut that there and remove that. And with that on, it'll slide over. Bam. So that's the beginning. Masking allows you to do things that just aren't possible in real life. All right. And then here, this looks like the correct portion of this, but I can't move it over anymore. What do I do? I just just trim that up and wrap. And it looks like that's going to line up pretty good. You can just look at the waveforms. In fact, with this new feature in CapCut, we can see the waveforms a little better by clicking on these three dots here and choosing track height, tall. And then the waveforms are a little bigger. Or we could have also just made the waveforms a little bigger too. <gasps> Bam, that's pretty cool. Right now we can see them. Let's do the same thing for this guy. Let's make the track height tall and the waveforms bigger, and you can see what's going on, especially for you guys watching this video. So you just want to line up the waveforms. Now, we do want to see me walking in that door, so we're going to drag this to the beginning, and we're going to go ahead and add the mask now so that we can fix the rest of this, because this is not going to line up. You can look and see this audio. I'm talking over myself. How do we fix that? That's the hard thing. So we're going to jump up here to mask and grab this horizontal mask, and we already know that we want it to be over here a little more from that last thing we just did. And we're going to feather it a bit so it's nice and smooth and perfect. And now, if I click off, I can see that, hey, it looks pretty great. I'm there talking to myself. And now we've got to trim it up and make these, how do we make these line up? Oh no, did I ruin it? Do I have to do it again? I mean, hey, you could keep going again and redo this a hundred times, or you could use the trick I'm about to show you. So I'm going to highlight both of these. I'm going to type the letter W so they go away turning off the track magnet. And I want you to understand these things. I show them a bunch of times so you can understand what they do. When you're like, ah, oh, everything's sliding over. What do I do? You turn that off and things won't slide over and, and mess you up. So we can check this and see if this works. It's in real life. Oh, hey, you look great. Oh, hey, thanks. You're not so bad yourself. For, uh, okay. yeah, and your nose. Is so this is obviously messed up. How do we do that? So there's a cool thing. This kind of works. This is one thing I love about CapCut. They make it 
easy to do. So I'm going to add a cut right here on this top track. And I'm going to add a cut right here at the beginning of this audio here. I'm going to move this out of the way to where I want it to be. So, you know, it's not going to be right here, but look. Great. Okay, thanks. You're not so bad yourself. Yeah, except for, uh, yeah, and your nose. So the audio sounds about right, but, but I don't see myself here. So how do I make this fill in this space? Well, because I'm not doing much over here, I can just slow this down a little bit. To slow this down, I make sure that this clip is highlighted. I click on speed and I want to move my playhead until I get this other thing, which is the arrows going left and right. See that arrows left and right? That's going to allow me to just drag this over to here. Ding, ding, ding. Look at as I do this, the speed is changing. Now I'm moving at 0.59x and you can see up here that it's 0.6x and this now takes 1.2 seconds instead of one second. And now, great. Okay, thanks. You're not so bad yourself. Yeah, except for, uh, yeah. Look, that looked super natural. I'm going to do it for the rest of it too, so that you understand like, oh no, this audio overlaps this audio. So what do we do? We add an edit here, which is a cut or an edit. And if you think about it, in the old days, they used film and they would physically cut the film and tape it together. Look how much better it is now. We don't need to use scissors or tape anymore, but we still use the same, same terms. And so I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. And I want it to start right here so it's down smooth. Let's check the audio. So that's kind of right for timing. So I click on this clip. I click on speed. I go down here and I make sure that I have the right cursor. I don't want this bracket guy. I want this arrow guy. And with the arrow guy, I just drag it over. It's 0.63 speed. It's about the same amount. And let's see how that looks. Uh, yeah, and your nose is, is kind of kind of big. Yeah, and your... Hey, 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 now. So that worked great. But look at this right here is overlapping here. So we're going to do it one more time. And you're getting the principles down by now. Add a cut. Command B to add a cut to add an edit. And it command B again, add an edit, move this guy where we want it to be. And it's okay to interrupt myself because of what I'm saying there. Click on this, speed's already selected. Go down here, make sure I have the right handle, the left and right arrow things, left and right, drag it over. And then I go to the end and this is, oh, I guess I, I, guess I do want that. So I'm gonna drag this out. Let's and this your, hey, 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 hey now, and just saying. Now, that it took me a long time to say just saying, so I could slow this down a little bit too. I'm going to do it one more time just so you can practice and get it down. I know everybody's not going to last this long in the video, but uh, some people are, and it's going to be helpful. And because I've got speed selected already, I just drag this guy over. To, so we're speeding it up, and I'm going to trim this here, and we're just going to check this last thing and see how it hey, works. Hey, 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 now. And just saying. Masking is exactly what is used to create gaming videos, but there's a lot more to it. If you want to learn how to make gaming videos or something like those, you want to click on this video right here, right now.